In this video, we are going to talk about the definition of interest, how interest works, and the formula for simple and compound interest. At the end of the video, we should be able to understand the basic concept of interest, differentiate simple and compound interest, and apply its formula. First, let us define what is an interest. Interest is the price you pay to borrow money or the cost you charge to lend money. Interest is most often reflected as an annual percentage of the amount of a loan. This percentage is known as the interest rate on the loan. How interest works? We have here one as our debtor and the bank as our creditor. Let's say one would want to start up his own business but he has no money. He applied to the bank and the bank approve his loan. Let's say the approved loan was 5,000 pesos. Under the contract, the bank would charge 10% interest for a period of one year. The amount of interest computed in the perspective of debtor is an expense, meaning on top of the 5,000 pesos loaned amount, 10% interest will be an additional cost to him. Whereas in the point of view of the bank, 5,000 pesos will be received at the maturity date and the maturity value will include the 10% interest after a year. Now let's talk about how can we compute the amount of interest. Interest can be computed in two ways. It can be a simple or it can be a compound interest. Let's talk about simple interest. First, let's define simple interest. Simple interest paid or received over a certain period is a fixed percentage of a principal amount that was borrowed or lent. What is the formula for simple interest? You can get the simple interest by multiplying the principal times the rate and the time. Or in short, you can get the I by multiplying the P times R times T. Let us illustrate simple interest. Year zero will be our date of our loan. The coverage period of our loan is three years, meaning the maturity date and the maturity value will be received at the end of year three. To illustrate simple interest, let's say we have a period of three years. From year zero, year zero is our date that the loan has been obtained then we will pay the loan at the end of year three the loan amount was 1000 pesos and that will be our principal every year under the stipulation of our loan we will be paying 10 percent that 10 percent can be computed by 1000 pesos times 10 percent times one year. You can compute the total simple interest by multiplying the principal 1000 pesos times the rate 10% multiplied by the time 3 years. And you can get 300 pesos. That is 100 for year 1, 100 for year 2, and 100 for year three. Now let's talk about compound interest. Compound interest is the interest calculated on both the initial principal and the accumulated interest from previous period. The formula using compound interest rate is maturity value or the amount that you will pay or you will receive at the end of the contract. Maturity value is equal to principal times 1 plus i raised to n. i is the quotient of the annual interest rate divided by the number of times interest is compounded. Let us say we have 12% as our annual interest rate. Then we are dividing the 12% on a quarterly basis or on a monthly basis. We can get the value of i by dividing 12% and to the number of quarters within a year. That is 12% divided by 4, you will get 3%. For a monthly basis, we are dividing 12% to the number of months within a year and that is 12. To compute for the value of i, 12% divided by 12, you will get 1%. Now, let's get the value of n. Let's say our time period here is 
two years. And we are compounding it every quarter or every month. Since there are four quarters within a year, we will use the factor of four. There are 12 months within a year, we will use the factor of two. So to get the value of n that will be compounded every quarter, good for two years, that is n is equal to four times two, you will get eight. To get the value of n, when the interest is compounded on a monthly basis, that is n is equal to 12 times 2, you will get 24. To illustrate the compound interest, on year 0, the date of the loan, we have a principal amounting to 1,000 pesos. We are compounding it every year using 10% interest rate. At the end of year 1, you would notice that there is a new principal. The new principal is the sum of the former principal and the interest at the end of year 1. Or you can simply get it by multiplying 1,000 pesos times 1 plus 10% raised to 1. You can get 1,100. To get the formula, that is 1,100 less the principal, you will get 100 pesos. Next, at the end of year 2, the amount of 1,100 will earn an additional interest. You can get the interest at the end of year 2 by multiplying the principal on year 1, which is 1,100 times 10%, you will get 110 pesos. So the new principal at the end of year 2 is 1,210. You can get the new principal by multiplying 1,000 pesos times 1 plus 10% raised to 2. You can get 1,210. At the end of the year 3, the year 2 principal amounting to 1,210 will earn 10% interest and that is 121 pesos. We should take note that the maturity date of the loan is on the end of year 3. At year 3, the principal and the interest should be paid to your creditor. The new principal here is 1,210 plus 121 interest, you can get 1,331. Or, by simply using the formula for the compound interest, that is 1,000 pesos times 1 plus 10% raised to number of years, which is 3. That's the end of our video. Thank you all for watching and see you next time.